um, getting to experience how how different it would be compared to the school everyone's used to walking around this school. The big flat screens all over the school. We'll get better food. Windows. Better and better. More windows. More windows. Yes. That it's new. The gym. No, the, the library. Bigger lockers. It's new. I think it's not like this, but it's not big. Really Wi-Fi. Yes, better Wi-Fi. Well, no, be yeah, better Wi-Fi. Air conditioning when it gets hot and then when it's cold at least. So keep us warm so you don't die at Mr. Ashley's room. Cleaner bathrooms, cleaner everything, bigger auditoriums. I hope the new school has nice drinking fountains. Ice cream. Vending machines. Ice cream. Are you ready? Are you ready? The commons area is beautiful. It's the main area to the school. And when you walk in, it is so grand. There's a beautiful staircase encompassed with glass, as well as the commons area is two stories, so it's very, very open. You know, kitchens are interesting spaces because they the, they're important because we all we all, all want to eat good food, and uh, kitchen needs to function well. And most of it will be self-served. You'll be able to grab the entree that you want and then go um, and check out at the computer and come back. So we wanted it to just have a really fun feel, an open feel. One of the things we wanted to get away from was long lines waiting for things. The auditorium is state-of-the-art. The auditorium is going to be used for all kinds of productions and assemblies. One of the great things about our auditorium is it has a state-of-the-art sound system as well as a state-of-the-art projection system. In this auditorium we have upwards of 800 people who will, who will be gathered in the auditorium. We have lots of different kinds of classrooms in the building. We have traditional classrooms like we have here. They're great, they have desks, they're light and open and they will be fantastic. One of the great things is, is every single classroom in our new building has natural light. We also have a lot of specialty rooms. We have five awesome science labs that are gonna be excellent for people who are taking those science-related courses. Something new, a new classroom space that we haven't had in our current building is we have a little theater. And that little theater is where we'll do our theater classes as well as small productions, and it can fit up to 100 people. Our art classroom has a spot for our kilns. The choir rooms and band rooms are open and spacious, and we also have a number of practice rooms associated with that. I think the library is just amazing. Um, we've placed a library up front. <clears throat> we've opened it up uh, with a lot of glass, so there are wonderful views across the campus. Also in our library, we have two study rooms. We have two gyms in our new building. We have the main gym, and then we have what we call the auxiliary or the small gym. New to our gyms this year, we have an exercise room, and we also have a dance studio that's attached to our gyms, something we haven't had before. Uh, there's an old adage in architecture that says that form tends to follow function. The form of the building uh, supports the functions that go on inside the building. The other thing we try to do is make the building visually stimulating and exciting. We think that, that students should 
should attend school in buildings that they find interesting, uh, that visually they're stimulated by their surroundings and excited about the opportunity to go to school.